so, but back to, you know, when, during the syndication days, because I remember watching a lot of the syndicated shows, mm-hmm. the, it was kind of carte blanche on a lot of these shows. Like, you could do almost anything as long as the ratings stayed. You are kind of free to do whatever you want. And I feel that there's Within a little reason. Bit- Within reason, within reason, as yeah, long as you stayed yeah. within the rules of the world. And even then, you could still break them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't mind breaking the rules of the world. They're actually, I, I worked on another show um, under a pseudonym, mm-hmm. which uh, called Acapulco Heat. I remember Acapulco okay. Heat. <laughs> so Acapulco Heat, I, I did two episodes on. And when they first pitched, this is this is apropos to what you're talking about in mm-hmm. terms of they can do anything. Um, Acapulco Heat was pitched to me as an international spy thriller with a professional diving competition team. Okay. Yeah. Going to go all over the world, have gadgets and do international spy stuff. And so cool. A diving James Bond. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Well, the first episode I wrote had to do with uh, uh, an athletic event taking place in Israel and, and the Palestinians are trying to infiltrate and they think that one of the people in the shooting competition is actually going to end up being a, an assassin and all this stuff. Great. By the time we went into production, they said, okay, um, we couldn't find enough people that can dive. So they're, they're now swimsuit models. I said, okay, that's fine. Great. Swimsuit models. And that was fine. And we did that episode. And then they came back and said, we want you to do another, another episode. But um, there are some budgetary constraints. I said, okay, what are those? They said, well, you can only have one guest star with two other speaking roles. And um, you can only have one other outside location besides our standing sets. So it went from this huge international spy ring to you can have one location and three actors. And I was like, okay, basically I've got people on a beach saying, I will kill you. You can't kill me. I will kill you. <laughs> so that was about it. But, uh, so a lot of it had to do with what, what are the, you know, the, the monetary budgetary constraints um, Hercules was fun. They, they, I never heard them say, "Oh, we can't do that. We can't afford that." Other shows, sometimes, particularly in, in, you know, yeah, they gotta go. Well, we can't really have, you know, a horde. How about two guys? <laughs> you know, and so, a dream. Two but, guys and a dream. Yeah, yeah. No, Her- Hercules was fairly popular, and it spun mm-hmm. off to Xena and spun off mm-hmm. to Young Hercules. <laughs> spun yep. off to a lot of yeah. things. So there was, was a, very- there was. There's actually also there was a, an animated series of yeah. spinoff. Yeah. In fact, the last time I went in to meet with them, they asked me to come in and pitch, and um, almost everything I I said, they came back to me and said, "Oh, we did that on Xena. Can't do that." I said, "Okay, well, what about this?" They, "Oh, we did that on the on Young Hercules. Can't do that. What about this? We did that on the cartoon. <laughs> we did that in the features of the cartoon. We did that on the feet." It's like, okay, I give up. So they wow. they had they had a universe. They had a complete universe. Oh!